YC1440 so crazy here. New glasses, new video, new me. And I was supposed to say that the other way around. Where it was like, new glasses, new me, new video. That would have been the better intro. But this time, stand by with the album reactions. Obviously, JD Youngin. Posthumous album. It's more like an EP because it's only got nine songs. But, fuck it. This one is called All Is Well. Rest in peace, JD Youngin. Um, 23 Island and Thotha is all that I know of him. Just based off his music. And obviously the sudden tragedy of his death and shit. But we're not here to talk about the death. We're here to celebrate his life. Celebrate his work. Celebrate his worth. And see what he's talking about on this. Big step in number one. I'm gonna give that a mid. I had that little uh, triumph, like, trumpet. I'll have to go mid off the EQ because it is a part of the song. Like, you got, you got a nice groove and ideas, but you, your mixing has to increase. He was definitely good at writing melodies. And the producers behind him were good at making patterns and getting the right tones. But as I was saying, the mixing is the biggest problem on this album. Everything else, if the mixing was better, this would have... It would help the songs out much more than what it's doing now. It was definitely nice with it. He had so much defense for his crazy. I'll go mid for that one as well based on EQ. Like it. Dude, it doesn't seem like there was much feel in that. Um, that one's okay in L. But... I'm seeing that there was some young boy influence. A lot of street violence in his lyrics. I feel like if he was, if he was still alive and actually got into the music the way he seemed like he was getting into it. Like, is the way that he was writing melodies. Um, the way he had beat selection as well, 23 Ireland and Thought Thought were like relatively decent instrumentals. Especially 23 Island. I like that instrumental, but I, I only like Thought Thought better because the catchy shit with the da, 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 da. Um, This whole situation is kind of fucked. I gave that another mid, but that was a nice chorus. Um. I like the piano, but what, what that piano was doing. Yeah, I was saying, so there is nice patterns in there. There is nice patterns. Um, definitely somewhat creative lyrics. In a way where I just, I don't think they're just lyrics. <laughs> I guess it's just the EQ, bro. I'm, I'm such like a fucking, I'm a trap soul head, really. Like, I, I love when R&B elements are on there. Like, so I, I do like some of the choruses that are on, on this album. But when it comes to, like, the, the hard stuff, I like... Time's been in the booth, boy, get your money back. Bitch, I'm gonna kill for it. Slide down in that market, let all shots, feel like the real Lauren. But I'm more for uh, the atmosphere and shit. So this is why EQ is such a big thing for me. So we're on red flag now. So yeah, no, he, he definitely did not like this guy that he gave no that. Mm. 
what I would have done differently from this is there definitely had to be more of a clean rate of weight that was reversed when it came back in for the beat drop so because he slightly started clapping like you went in with the and the whatever that whatever's holding the melody whatever vst whatever instrument it's not a nice sound it is not a, it's not a good sound This is definitely the nicest sound one. I've seen there is good ideas. I think some of these sounds are no good. This is such a good sound for him. Shout out to the people that was making the beats, but like... Alright. No glasses, just like... Real, real tall now. If I'm gonna be tall... If I talk from... I'm not gonna come back, listen, from track 1 to track 9 of this album. Most likely, no. I, I guess I like, just... Rest in peace, J.D. Younger. That's why is he 1440 so crazy. Long live J.D. Youngin. All is well.